Journalism has to now understand the rhythms of the audience. Through the day, we're now discovering that people get up, get on their mobile phone in bed, and want to know and are willing to read stories that were produced the night before. When they're in trans at the breakfast table, people use tablets a little bit. When they're in transit, they use mobile phones. When they're at work, they're on desktops. About four o'clock in the afternoon, traffic on tablets begins to spike. Around eight o'clock at night, traffic on tablets really gets large. And the way we consume news varies significantly on、uh, different devices. Now, a smaller screen doesn't necessarily mean a shorter attention span. The reality is that the tablet has reintroduced. Long-form reading, long-form news consumption, back into our lives, really for the first time in the digital age. For the fir first 15 years of the internet, people did not read long form on computers. The average length on any one web page was 30 seconds. Why? Well, this device is a distraction machine with lots of input coming in, and your email pops up. Mobile phones, smartphones are one activity devices, and Steve Jobs insisted that we have touch screens, which means that people are going to a few places、uh, that they that are familiar over and over. And online、uh, and on tablets, people are reading long form. Seventy-three percent of people who get news on tablets say they read long stories on them, and twenty percent do it every day. Seventy percent of people who get news on their smartphones. Read long stories on them. It's what、uh, Jonah Peretti of BuzzFeed calls、uh, "bored in line." You're trapped at the airport. All you've got is your smartphone, and、uh, you're not getting any good tw 